Welcome to Winnipeg James Armstrong Richardson International Airport. My name is Veronica and I'm your personal tour guide as we go through Canada's newest airport. Travelers around the globe have been eagerly anticipating the opening of this world-class terminal, which is the first lead registered airport in the country. Today, we'll see the many features that will ensure an enjoyable and efficient customer experience in the many different areas of the new terminal building. So let's check it out. If you're arriving at the airport by transit bus, you'll arrive on the lower level, so you'll need to take an elevator, escalator, or stairs up to the departures level. Arriving by car, take advantage of our convenient premier valet and away service on this level. Plenty of parking is available in the parkade. A walkway conveniently connects the parkade to the second or departures level of the terminal. Whether you arrive by car, taxi, shuttle, or limo, you will always enter the terminal building on the second level. There are three entryways on the curb, but let's head through the main revolving door so you can meet me inside. I'm a Goldwing Ambassador. Other volunteers wearing a uniform just like mine can be found throughout the airport to help answer any questions you might have about the new terminal. You can also look for anyone wearing this campus crew tag and they'll be at your service to help with anything you might need. We are standing in the check-in area. As soon as you arrive, you'll notice there is a traveler's aid station for any passengers that require special assistance. The new terminal uses universal design principles, including flight information display screens at eye level, to ensure every passenger has the best possible customer experience. Checking in for your flight is easy. All of the kiosks are common use, which means that you can check in at any terminal. No matter which airline you are flying with, you may use any of the kiosks to check in for your flight. Plus, there are plenty of customer service personnel to help if you need any assistance. After check-in, just tag your bag and drop it off on the belt. If you are a transporter passenger traveling to a destination in the United States, then proceed across the bridge that takes you to security. Visitors to the terminal can grab a magazine at Red River News or spend some time with loved ones at a local favorite, Stella's Cafe and Bakery. After clearing security, you'll find yourself in the Queen's Court. This spacious area features a beautiful skylight and comfortable seating with access to Upper Crust Bakery and Winnipeg's first TGI Fridays. To the right, you can also visit the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, the Exchange News and Gift Store, PGA Store, Starbucks, the Chapel, and Family Washrooms. Just to the left of security is the Food Court, where you'll find even more great places to eat. Gondola Pizza, Red Walk, and Salisbury House or grab some in-flight reading material at Indigo. The passenger boarding areas are large, bright, and include numerous conveniences like a second Red River News and Gift Store, Toad Hall Toys, Fuel Bar, and Tim Hortons. The Air Canada Lounge is located in this area as well. Stay connected with the stand-up tables equipped with outlets to charge your cell phone or laptop while you let your little travelers unwind in two fun play areas. So now that you've seen domestic departures, it's time to check out the transborder departures area. The transborder departures area is an expansive, comfortable space with lots of natural light. If you're in this area, it means you're leaving Canada for a little while. Before you head out, why not check out the CNBC news store or the duty-free shop? Need a pre-flight meal? A second Friday's location is also available. There's a play area located in this section for little travelers as well. You can also take a moment and grab the most Canadian of all beverages, a Tim Hortons Double Double, and enjoy a great view of the airfield and the downtown Winnipeg skyline out these east-facing windows. A flight's just landed. Let's go greet the passengers in the arrivals hall. Once you leave your arriving aircraft, you'll proceed through the departures concourse to the escalator and stairs that will take you down to the arrivals hall and baggage claim. If you arrive on a ground-loaded aircraft, you will proceed down the corridor to the arrivals hall. No matter where passengers are arriving from or what carrier they are traveling with, they all filter into this welcoming area. With 55 stunning skylights, this area will set the stage for some amazing moments. Friends and loved ones reuniting. Business travelers returning to their families. It all happens here. Although the new terminal building is a fantastic, beautiful place to be, Eventually, every passenger has to exit. For visitors to Winnipeg, there is an information center that highlights the city's many attractions. Need a place to stay? Then book a room at the Hotel Reservation Center. If you're being picked up or taking a taxi, you would exit through doors on the main level. 
Car rentals can be found on the main floor of the parkade, which is directly across the street from the terminal building. If you used our valet and away service, an attendant will quickly have your vehicle waiting for you on this level as well. If you have questions about exiting or anything else about your airport experience, just ask any member of the campus crew. Thanks so much for touring the new Winnipeg James Armstrong Richardson International Airport with me. We hope to see you again soon. You've arrived.